welcome back to a bird's, bird's eye view. view. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the air. Welcome um, to the new talk show we're starting. Yeah. Keeping up with the As birds. As you can see, <laughs> we're at the beach right now. Whoa. Surfing the waves, cowabunga, you know. Totally not a green screen. <laughs> that was the waves. <laughs> We kind of went in a loophole this week and we're like, we're just waiting what do we for you film? guys to come back to campus so we can have more people to film with. Because after having Ruby last week, we it's kind of like hard to top people, it. You know? So now, we, like the people. we decided being welcome weekend is right around the corner. Right around that corner. We would decide to ask you guys some questions on our Instagram, which you should follow, which is called Birds Eye View underscore blog. Yeah. Right. You will have a better chance at winning a bird box. <laughs> oh. So our first question that we have So asked many replies. Is... <laughs> it was questions about campus or unpopular, unpopular opinions. opinions. The first one, unpopular opinion by Lauren Wallace, a good homie of Shout ours. Shout out Lauren! <laughs> Sugar beets do smell good. Eh. I'm not gonna lie. I am one of those people that say they smell bad because I think it smells like greasy fish. And I Sorry. second it. Yeah, let's get a picture of Greasy Fish up here. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but honestly though, like for new incoming students, it's not that bad. Only like half the One year day. smells like that. <laughs> <laughs> One day every three months, it probably smells not great. So just don't go outside that one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat in the water. Ooh, ooh. We hey, haven't done that one. Okay, that's it. Correct. Carry on. <laughs> okay, our next question is from a loyal follower, Sydney Bly, who is a student here at the university, and she actually has two questions. The first one is, "What is your favorite class?" This is tough. Being communication majors, our teachers are all awesome. <laughs> you want to go first? Do you have it? Because I'm still kind of just. My favorite talk. class <laughs> is probably crisis communication. Shut up, Mark. We love Mark Huglin. Shout out to Marky. I like crisis communication. That one was fun. Did a lot of presenting. Talked about how to deal with crises. Like the pandemic. <laughs> Man, I just like them all oh, so much. And biology with Mr. Henderson. Everybody take that class. He is the best. Carry on. I didn't have him. I had biology, but not with him. Not much of a science gal. <laughs> say another shout out to a teacher, Megan Bell, also our advisor. Super cool. So if you want to get into communications, she's your gal. Event planning and management. Ooh, I did like that one. I not that I plan to plan events, but I think that it was fun just getting to know it and like we got to do a lot of fun activities with it. Nice, nice, nice. So second question is what is your favorite thing about each other? Um, you go first, I like hearing about my myself. My thing I like about, not the most, but this is just off the top of my head. She is the best hype man. Bailey will hype you up. Well, even I'm if, hyping myself up. <laughs> even, yeah, yeah. And she's kind of full of herself, but <laughs> so am I. If you suck, she helps me when I stink at golf. You just can't beat her. You really think so? Don't take it serious. It's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, if you guys know this, but she's pretty funny. Never heard that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's one of my favorite things about her, obviously, is her sense of humor, and she literally can make me laugh probably saying nothing. So, like, look at that. <laughs> yeah. So, so that just explains it right there. Sydney for shout out! <laughs> Our next question is from a pain.ep. Just click the profile. <laughs> Our next Ellen question Payne. is from Ellen Payne. There we go. Thanks, Kinda Ellen, like for tuning in. T Payne. Her question is any advice for move in weekend? Um, oh, I got a good one. I think my be best advice, even though I maybe didn't follow it when I was there, is to actually like try and enjoy the welcome weekend or like orientation events because as much as you might think they're awkward and weird you do meet a lot of good people there so just taking advantage of all the time that you get to meet all your other incoming classmates and for that yeah because we maybe would have never known each other if it weren't for that true my advice for move-in weekend would probably just be to like 
pay attention to the things around you and like don't think so much about the little things just like have fun and don't be afraid to be goofy and outgoing because that is how you meet a lot of your friends like we met during welcome weekend and we had already kind of known each other but I have one more advice that I think um, this actually just involves like moving in itself don't overpack you think you need <laughs> way more stuff than you actually do like True get that. your essential stuff and then you know, all the, the need be stuff. You don't need 50 body washes, okay? Yeah, you also um, do not need 45 pairs of shoes. You're probably gonna wear three. Because you're gonna look good for the first week and then you're gonna and be tired. And then you're gonna decide that college, you can wear sweatpants and no one cares. Yeah, don't so. bring a lot of shoes, not a lot of body wash. <laughs> well, bring enough body wash. I mean, like, we one tube is fine, you can buy but one. But they also sell it at Walmart. So the cheap out, stuff swap. You can get it. <laughs> to call anyone out if you use that. You're <laughs> cheap! <laughs> Here's Woo. a picture of Suave. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Ellen Payne, for asking the question. We maybe made this. <laughs> Prove it. But you know, small towns are greater than big towns. I second that. I can that. definitely third that then because I'm not a very big, big town person. I mean, I did grow up in a small town, so did Mercedes, so that probably is why, but like, people just don't even understand. Hence why we made this vlog that there are so many fun things to do in Crookston. Like, and plus, if you want to go to a big town, drive 25 minutes to Grand Forks and you're there. Yeah, don't give enough credit to Crookston. This is where we came to, to have fun. Like, just to go to Walmart. This for was fun. the big city. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Take advantage of the stuff in this town, because there is stuff to do. So many and you would know that if you watched the rest of our vlogs. Yes. Link right here. Just kidding. No, probably. It probably, probably will be. be. Link right there. <laughs> Uh, okay. Thanks, whoever anonymously sent that in. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't catch your name. Um, Bailey. <laughs> question is, what are some must-need items to bring to college? From Gracie Royland. Um, a fan in your room. It does get hot. There is majorly good air conditioning in yeah, these dorms. I'm not gonna Netflix. lie, it is mint condition. Yeah. Bring a fan. Yeah, like a pizza cutter or like a cutting board maybe. Like I don't I don't think they have that in the kitchens. Also the um, heritage freshman dorms and all that stuff, they do have the shared kitchens, but it doesn't supply like pots and pans and stuff. So make sure to bring that so that you can cook and everything. Because all the dorms on campus are mint condition. Yeah. That's They're, what sold me. Yeah, honestly. Uh don't forget a mattress pad. Your oh, back yes. will no shade to the res you. life, but your back will thank you later. <laughs> yeah. Buy that mattress pad that's thirty dollars from Walmart. Didn't I would say that. also bring decorations. Cause if this is gonna be your home, you want yeah. it to feel like home. So bring that's decorations cool. that you want. Not Pictures too many, home. but bring some. Also, oh my god, that's another really good tip. Whatever you buy from Walmart here is gonna end up going home with you. True. So like, if you buy like five TVs here. Some people have done it. <laughs> you have to somehow get them back home. So if you don't live like close or whatever and you don't have room in your car to bring them back, make sure you think of that before you buy all those TVs. Buy a bunch of hangers because when you come here, you're gonna do exactly what we did. I want that t-shirt. I want that sweatshirt. I need the merch for my school. And next thing you know, you got shirts piling up on your floor because you got no hangers. Garbage bags, don't forget the garbage bags. And a garbage, oh my, for like the first two weeks, we didn't even have a garbage can. So remember a garbage can. <laughs> that helps you really not smell. Febreze, also. Oh <laughs> just, yeah. Just in case. And um, not a lot of body wash. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> Gracie again for that question. Um, you rock. Our next thing from another anonymous person. Can't figure know. out who sent it, not me. Unpopular opinion, it's not that cold. That's a popular opinion. It is cold. No, okay, I think that- It's cold, but I'm never gonna admit it to like people outside of state that it's cold. My theory is I would rather be too cold than too hot because you can always add layers. You can only take so much off. Not so, in Antarctica, but that. You still can have as many layers as you want. They make clothes for this kind of weather, you guys. Not saying it's as bad as Antarctica. They so. always buy a medium jacket, a large jacket, an XL jacket, and just keep yeah, just keep popping them on. Hats, gloves, scarf. I um. hate scarves. <laughs> cue, the, cue the ugly scarf right here. <laughs> it means he's scared of Santa Claus. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Stop it, Patrick. You're scaring him. <laughs> okay, next question. 
Um, what's your favorite memory from UMC? My favorite memory is probably my roommates and I having girls night on every Thursday night. We would watch The Bachelorette or like some type of TV show. That was just so fun. Freshman year, I would say my favorite was just meeting everybody in the freshman dorm because we were all the same age. Like we were neighbors. <laughs> no big deal. That was like the best time ever. That was. Fun. I loved freshman year. I'd relive it. Um, okay, I would say that one of my favorite memories here at the university would be like meeting me. You wish. Um, would be probably meeting and hanging out with the volleyball team, like meeting them for the first time. And yeah, just all the bonding stuff that we get to as a team. It is true you meet your real friends at college. I mean, you'll keep your old friends, but. Our last unpopular opinion is Pong's is better than China Moon. So if you guys don't know, these are the two Chinese places to eat in Crookston. Pong's takes your Eagle Bucks, China Moon does not. So it's always a huge debate on campus. Like, if you have a meal plan and you have Eagle Bucks, you can use those Eagle Bucks at Hong's. And yeah. that is why Hong's is superior. And maybe it's because I don't ever get Eagle Bucks, <laughs> but I, I think China Moon is better. I just, it's something about their noodles. Why man. are you? <laughs> yeah. Maybe let us know in the comments. Just so you guys know, the best food place in town was El Gordito, but they just shut down. I think that that is a never ending debate that you guys can let us know what you guys think in the comments. I think China Moon, she thinks Hongs. We fight every day about it. We just did a random draw for our Birdie Birdie box. box winner. And the winner is, drum roll. Liberty Joy Johnson from Goodridge, Minnesota. Libby, you're getting a bird box. So strap up and buckle up. We're gonna ship it to you. DM us and then tell us where you want it to be sent to. And then we will. Thanks, Libby. We'll do that. Thanks for playing. And if you want to be in the next bird box, you better participate in the videos. Um, give a like, comment, subscribe. Do all the fun jazz. Do it all. Do the jazz if you want free stuff. We're gonna go back on the beach and relax a little more, so. Okay, we're doing this. Don't. I say yeah. Yes. 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 All right, we're going to get a burrito. A bird's, a bird's eye view. Out. Out.